All right, welcome you guys to Power Yoga Strength. Let's go ahead and get started in child's pose. There's an old Spartan credo that says, sweat more in training and bleed less in war. So in other words, when we train ourselves on our yoga mat, physically, mentally, and emotionally, to be in alignment with the best version of ourselves, then the inevitable challenges that arise within our, our life don't feel so overwhelming. So we get onto our yoga mat and this is the place to train ourselves, to practice. And we don't have to be perfect. We don't have to nail every pose. It's okay if we get frustrated or agitated in a pose. But the idea is, is that we're aware of what's coming up. Because we can't ever possibly progress and evolve and grow without, without that awareness. So this opening position that we're in is all about cultivating that awareness. It's about attuning yourself to what it is that you're feeling and what it is that you're experiencing right here, right now. And this class is meant to, to build strength, to build resiliency. And so naturally we will move through poses and sequences that will challenge your physical strength. We'll strengthen the upper body, the lower body, the middle body, the back body, the front body, the whole entire web of the body. because the integrity of the web has to do with the resiliency of every single strand. Before we start to build that energy, just start to lay down that foundation of that nice, steady, even rhythm of the breath. And allow your mind and allow your breath to fuse together to become one. And of course, if at any point you ever feel like what we do in here becomes too much, or maybe you're towards the beginning of the program and your body's really, really sore, really, really fatigued, please take as many breaks as you like. Give yourself permission to modify. This isn't about strengthening your ego. This is about strengthening your wisdom. So from here, let's go ahead and start to build the energy by extending the hands, the arms out in front of you as far as they'll go. Spread them out a little bit wider than the shoulders. Tuck the toes underneath the feet and then lift the hips all the way up to the sky as we slide into our very first downward facing dog of the class. And there it is. There it is, first down dog of the class, just checking in, checking through the landscape of your body, see how you're doing, see what you're feeling. And if there's any areas in the body that maybe uh, you're recovering from an injury, areas in the body that maybe feel a little sensitive, to perhaps bring a little bit of extra care and attention to those areas so that they don't get further irritated, but they actually have the opportunity to get healed, to regenerate. And then from downward facing dog, go ahead and slide forward to plank pose, upper push up on the inhale. And then back to down, we're facing dog on the exhale. Two more like that, inhale forward to plank. And then back to down, we're facing dog, exhale. One more time, inhale, slide forward. 
And then exhale back to downward facing dog. Good, now this time, inhale forward to plank, upper push up. Chaturanga, exhale lower down, hover above the ground. Plank pose, inhale, press straight up. And then down dog, exhale, press straight back. Two more like that, inhale forward to plank. Chaturanga, exhale, plank inhale. Down dog, exhale. Beautiful, one more time, inhale forward to plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Plank, inhale, press, and then down dog, exhale. Now let's add on to that, inhale forward to plank. Chaturanga or the belly, exhale, cobra up dog, inhale, so add the back bend. And then down dog, exhale, pull the hips up and back. Two more like that, inhale forward to plank. Exhale, lower down, cobra up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog, exhale, one more time. Slide forward, inhale, float down, exhale. Backward bend, inhale, and then down dog, exhale, hold there, take a nice big inhale through the nose. And then out the mouth, sigh it out. So you let the tension go, you let the stress go, you let anything go that's no longer serving you in a positive way. Take an inhale, stretch back, downward facing dog. And then exhale, walk your feet all the way forward to the top of your yoga mat. Inhale, flat back, draw the spine up and out. And then exhale, forward fold. Circle the arms up to the sky, inhale, interlace the fingers, turn those palms inside out. And then side bend to the right on the exhale. Go ahead and lean over to the right. Taking a couple breaths, stretching through the left side body. Good, come back up to middle on the inhale. And then same thing to the other side on the exhale. Lean left, stretch across the right. Breathe into your right ribs, your right lung and feel that rib swing breath as the diaphragm floats down and those ribs expand out. Back up to middle on the inhale, hands to prayer position on the exhale. Circle those arms up to the sky, feel the feet anchoring downward. Forward fold, exhale, kind of like a moving prayer. Flat back, inhale, spine elongates out. Step back to plank pose, go ahead and lower down. Same exhale, breathing out. Cobra or upward dog on the inhale. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Inner hands are strong. Outer shoulders wrapping back. Tailbone, the apex of a triangle, just drawing straight up so you get long through the spine, long through the lower back. From here, starting to find a little bit of rhythm within this strength class. Take an inhale, draw those hips back. And then exhale, walk or jump, top of your yoga mat. Flat back, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Circle the arms up to the sky, inhale, interlace, palms inside out. Side bend to the right side, easily. Back up on the inhale. To the other side, exhale. Come up to middle on the inhale. Hands to prayer position, gather it in. Circle those arms up to the sky, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, moving with breath. Flat back, inhale, spine stretching out. And then step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then down, we're facing dog, exhale. Bruce Lee said, I fear not the man that practices 10,000 kicks one time, but the man that practices one kick 10,000 times. So within the repetition of what you're doing, many of us have done sun salutations maybe hundreds, thousands of times. Repetition plus awareness equals mastery. 
So see if you can bring that high level of awareness to something that you've done over and over and allow that mastery of movement and that mastery of your understanding of yoga to continue to deepen. Take an inhale, drive back, sink in. And then exhale, walk or jump both feet through again. Flat back, inhale, stretch. Forward fold, let it go. Circle those arms up, inhale, root to rise, interlace. Take it to the right side with grace. Inhale, back up to neutral. Exhale, other side, lean. Inhale, mind serene. Exhale, hands to Anjali. Inhale, arms to the sky. Forward fold, exhale, chest out over those thighs. Flat back, inhale, lows of spinal length. Step or jump back, lower down, core engaged. Cobra up dog, inhale, open wide. And then exhale back, downward facing dog as we set up for one more round of those. But before that last round, can you take your right hand, reach it over and grab your outer left knee, calf or ankle, little one arm downward facing dog. So this is a great way of preparing for getting upside down in a pose like handstand, which we get into with our, our level 108 program, bringing some inversion. So after you do the PY 108 program, level up is there for you if you're interested. Good from here, right hand forward, top of the mat, back to down dog, and then other side, left hand reaches over and grabs the outer right leg. So again, think handstand in that right hand, right arm. And then turn and look underneath that right arm, right shoulder. See if you can soften something. Maybe that's your jaw or your trap or your neck. Maybe even your brain. Maybe your brain feels like rigid and tight. Good, left hand back, top of the mat. Fingers wide as can be as we flow through one last round of these. Big inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or fly, top of your mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Circle those arms up, inhale, interlace. Take it to the right side, get long through the left. Inhale, back up to middle. Other side, exhale. Find middle on the inhale. Hands to prayer position, exhale. Good, arms up, inhale, reach above, and then exhale, forward fold. Flat back, inhale, step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale, and then downward facing dog, exhale. First warm up series already in the rear view mirror. And before you know it, this whole practice is gonna be behind you. So can you suck the juice out of every moment that you got? Because before you know it, this class is gonna be gone. Good, moving right along from down dog, shift forward to plank pose, upper push up position. And then drop the elbows onto the ground, forearm plank position. So for forearm plank pose, option to keep the hands spread out about the width of the shoulders like Chris here is demonstrating. Go over here to uh, Christine. She's got the hands interlaced, so you can explore that as well. Either way, you're driving down into the forearms, the elbows. You're engaging the core, strengthening the shoulders. How are we doing, Christine? <laughs> How much longer you want to hold it for? Mm, we'll see. <laughs> she said, we'll see. How about one more breath? Okay. You good with that? She's good with that. All right, take one last inhale, forearm plank. Come up onto the hands, upper push-up plank. Everybody was really glad you didn't say 10 more breaths. Take a good by inhale plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale, lower slow. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Take a big inhale through the nose. And then out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Woo! It's happening, you guys. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. 
Forward fold, exhale, feet together, bend the knees, squat low, chair pose, reach the arms up to the sky. And as you find your alignment here in this chair pose, breath of fire, start to pump that air in and out through the nose rhythmically. And how about we bring a little bit of strength of breath work and we mix that with a little bit of strength within the asana. Because when you mix the asana and you mix the breath, that creates alchemy. That's the alchemy of yogic transformation. So keep pumping that breath strong in and out through the nose. Last five, four, three, two, one. Take one last inhale, chair. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back, inhale. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale, gentle and sweet. Exhale, hips high as can be. Right leg lifts to the sky, inhale. And then right knee to the belly. Let's hold there for 15 minutes. No big deal, right? Just 15 minutes. Time goes by so fast, especially when you're focused, especially when you're present. Do you know that boredom do you know that resentment and anything that comes and goes doesn't define who you really are? It's all impermanent. Inhale, right leg drives back. And then exhale, right foot flows, top of the mat, deep runner's lunge. Stay on the back, left foot, left toes. And when you're ready, crescent pose, take both arms and reach those all the way up to the sky for the count of five. Bend that front knee a little deep for one. Extend those arms up a little bit high for two. Spread those fingers wide for three. Stay with that breath for four. Take one last inhale, maybe reach up and lean back a little bit more. And then exhale, vinyasa, go ahead and lower all the way down towards the floor. Huge inhale, cobra up dog. And then exhale back, downward facing dog, other side, left leg up, inhale. To the belly on the exhale, hold for the count of five. So again, shoulders right above the wrist. Press strong into those hands, into those palms as you dome the back of the heart up towards the sky. Draw the forehead in towards that left knee, left eye. Close the gap, beautiful, Reagan. Inhale, left leg back. She's putting that work in. Top of the mat, exhale, deep runner's lunge. Crescent pose, inhale both arms all the way up to the sky. When you sweat more in training, you bleed less in war. Good, drop that left eye a little low, pull those arms up high. Take it one breath at a time and notice that you can always access paradise inside of your mind. Even in the midst of chaos, even in the midst of the battle, even in the midst of the struggle, even in the midst of an argument with your partner. Take a big inhale, reach up, exhale, vinyasa all the way down, same out breath. Inhale, chest up, exhale, downward facing dog. I mean, come on, is there any better place to practice yoga than in your relationships? And they say, if you really wanna know if your yoga practice is working, take a look at your relationships. And if you're becoming a little less reactive, then you're definitely on the right track. If you're bringing more compassion, more kindness into those relationships, more patience, more acceptance, your yoga is working for you. All right, you guys, now let's come into our second warm up series flow, picking up the pace a little bit. Take an inhale, stretch it back, down dog. And then exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees. Chair pose, inhale, lift up. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa. Cobra up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, in that flow, right leg up, inhale. To the belly, feel that strength right there, exhale. Pull back, inhale top of your yoga mat, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, rise, lift up. And then vinyasa all the way down as we find a little flow. Huge inhale, shoulders a little low. 
Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale. To the abdominals, exhale, feel that strength. Inhale, drive back. Exhale, top of the mat. Crescent pose, inhale, rise up. Vinyasa all the way down, smooth as can be. Good, inhale, bend that spine deliciously. Exhale, down dog, hold there, big inhale through the nose. And then out the mouth, exhale, let it go. You know, on some level, practicing yoga is kind of like going on a really hot date with yourself. I mean, it's sweaty, it's steamy, it's sensuous. Every day for 108 days, I'm just going on a date with myself. Take a huge inhale, stretch back. Exhale, walk or catapult, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, squat. Chair pose, inhale, arms up, biceps back. Forward fold, cascade to the mat. Flat back, inhale, breathe deep. Step or jump back, lower down with the utmost of strength. Good, inhale, bend the spine with the utmost of gentleness. Exhale, down dog, inhale, right leg up. Exhale to the core, connect. Inhale, thread it back. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, rise and lift it high. Exhale, vinyasa, lower down and enjoy the yoga ride. Inhale, pump the blood into the spine. Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale, lift. To the belly, feel the power in there. Inhale, drive it back. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, lift to the heavens. Exhale, lower down, connecting heaven to Mother Earth. Good, inhale, heart wide as the world. Exhale, down dog, big inhale through the nose. And then out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Woo! Oh, two down, one more round to go. But if you wanted, you could always skip this last round. That would be totally fine. You could drop your knees on the ground and take a child's pose. Because we're not looking for the strength of vanity and ego. Remember, we're looking for the strength of wisdom. So keep honoring what it is that your body's speaking to you. And uh, if you do that, it's impossible not to finish your yoga practice feeling amazing. So last round of these, you guys, and then we'll move on. Big inhale, stretch back, downward facing dog. Exhale, walk or slingshot top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, forward fold, exhale, bend the knees. Chair pose, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, Ardu Tanasana. Exhale, back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Bhujang Asana. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up in the flow. Exhale to the belly, you close. Inhale, get it long. Exhale, deep and strong. Now inhale, rise up, hold at the top. Take those arms and spread those out, wide as can be, keeping that chest facing forward. Good, little bend in the elbows. Draw the heart up to the sky, lean back as you pull the shoulder blades in towards each other, and you feel that magnificence radiating from the center of your chest. So let that spread wide and let that illuminate bright. Good, you guys, now keeping those arms out wide, rotate your torso to the right side of the space, right arm back, left arm straight out in front of you. And then flip those palms up to the sky as we prepare to pulse. Inhale, lean forward, reach out, and then exhale, rise up to center. Two more, inhale, reach, and then exhale, back up. One more time, inhale, get out there. Exhale, rise up, good crescent pose, inhale. And then warrior two, exhale, spin the back foot flat. Left arm behind, right arm straight out in front. Oh. Beautiful, you guys, from here, go ahead and straighten your right knee, right leg. 
Turn your right foot in parallel to your left foot. Take those arms up to the sky on the inhale, reach up. And then elbows to the ribs on the exhale, stretching the back and the chest muscles. Two more like that. Inhale, arms up to the sky. And then exhale, elbows to the sides. Give a little squeeze at the end. One more time, inhale, flow it up. And then exhale, elbows to ribs. That's it, good. This time, inhale, both arms up to the sky. And then hands to prayer position down the midline. Flick the heels in towards each other. Point the toes out, bend those knees, horse stance. So you're gonna bend those knees and squat down low as we create a little bit of strength in that lower body. So don't be shy to bend deep in those knees and those thighs. Now from here, spread those arms back out wide. Keep that breath and that flow. And then from here, drop your left hand down inside of your left foot on the ground or a block and reach the right arm straight up to the sky. But as you lean over to the left side, try not to straighten your right knee, right thigh. So ideally, your knees and your thighs are still bent in an even balanced way. But of course, the tendency is we start to straighten that right knee, right leg a little bit. So commit to keeping that bend deep as can be. Good, still breathing free, come all the way back up to middle. Keep those knees bent low. Bring the arms up above, interlace the fingers, turn those palms inside out. Sit down a little bit lower for five. Good, find paradise inside the mind for four. Cause your spouse is getting upset with you now for three. Uh oh, this is getting real for two. Take one last inhale there. Straighten those legs, kick those heels out, spread those arms out wide as can be. So we have a couple of uh, couples in the class and they're all kind of looking at each other like, he's talking about you, honey. <laughs> Lean back, big inhale, look to the sky. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. My wife and I have never been in an argument. Never ever, I swear. All right, you guys, crawl yourself forward towards the top of your yoga mat, spin the right toes forward. Pivot onto the back left toes. I remember there was a month where it seemed like every day we were getting into an argument. Glad those are behind us now. From here, take the inner thighs, engage those towards the midline. Start leaning into your left hand and then reach your right arm all the way up to the sky, just coming into a sweet little lunging spread arm twist. And as you rotate over to the right, can you take the outer right hip and can you suck it in towards your inner left leg, left thigh? Good, now begin to roll that right chest open and then extend that right arm all the way forward and out. And as that right arm reaches forward, take that navel and turn it towards that inner right leg, right thigh. Keep those hips hugging in towards that center line, almost like a boa constrictor wrapped around the tree branch. Good, now right arm comes up to the sky. Now this is where it gets to be a little interesting. Strong in the lower body, go ahead and rise all the way back up to standing, back to where we began the sequence. Lunging spread arm twist. Now from here, can you take your back right hand and place it on your left hamstring, so the back of that left leg with the left arm reaching high to the sky. Can you bend that right knee deep for one? Can you pull that left arm up tall for two? Can you get limber through the spine for three? As you reach high for four. Now finally, right arm up to join the left, inhale for five. Set both hands to the ground, step back to plank, pause there, upper push-up position. Feet together side by side. Spin onto the outer edge of the right foot, side plank pose, lean into that right hand. Take that left arm all the way up to the sky. Now look, you can modify this pose by dropping the right knee on the ground underneath the right hip, totally fine. Take care of your body. Open up that left chest, inhale. Extend that left arm forward and out on the exhale. Wrap that outer right shoulder back. Spiral that inner right elbow towards the front. Lift the left hip a little bit high. Good, you got it, left arm back up, inhale. 
Hand to the ground, exhale, plank position. Take one inhale, plank. Drop the right knee on the ground, underneath the right hip, lift the left leg up. Extend the right arm straight out in front of you, sunbird spinal balancing. But now we balance on your fresh left arm. Because we're not here to blow you out. But we are here to challenge your strength, to take you to your edge, and then to see what happens when you encounter that edge. Now from here, take the right arm and extend it over towards the right side of the space. Take your left leg and bring it all the way around towards the left side of the space so your left leg is reflecting what your right arm is doing. And then double check that your left ankle is in alignment with your left hip. How about that? We call this the awkward airplane hip stretch for pretty obvious reasons. You feel that awkwardness in that left hip? Ooh, breathe. Good, left leg back, right arm forward, bend that back left foot in, reach back with that right hand, half bow pose. Good, now take about five or so breaths and start to cock that bow and arrow back. So draw that left shin back, extend the heart forward and out, roll the right chest open, and pump some mojo deep into your inner back. Woo, big inhale, half bow, left leg back, right arm straight out in front of you. Huge inhale, pull it out and lift it a little. Exhale, set it down, tabletop position. Step back to plank, upper push-up position. As we now set up for five yogi style push-ups, if you want, drop your knees, that's cool. Inhale down, chaturanga, push-up, exhale, plank. Inhale, drop down. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, building some strength. Exhale, two to go. Inhale, lower slow. Exhale, last one. Inhale, down float. Exhale, press. Now hold and plank, take an inhale there. Lower slow on the count of five, four, three, two, one. Cobra inhale, heart shines to the sky. Exhale, down dog, take a big inhale through the nose and out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Woo, left leg up, inhale, left knee to the belly, exhale. Inhale, left leg back, exhale, left foot top of the mat. You didn't forget about the other side, did you? Inhale, rise, crescent pose, come on up. Spread those arms out wide, we call it prana mudra. Good, the yogis believe that the strongest place in the human body is the human heart. And science shows that when you look at our electromagnetic signature, the strongest place is right there at the middle of the chest. So can you allow that strength and that energy and that power that so often gets suppressed and suffocated and pushed inside, can you allow it to become unleashed? Can you allow that power to be expressed? That's it, now turn to the left side, left arm to the back, right arm forward to the front, spine tall as can be. Flip those palms up to the sky, soften the neck, the shoulders, and then let's pulse. Inhale, lean forward, reach out. Exhale, rise up. Two more, inhale, reach, and exhale, back up. Good, one more time, inhale out. Exhale, back up, crescent pose. Inhale, turn forward, lift up. And then warrior two, spin the back foot flat. Woo! Oh man, I love yoga. It's invigorating. It's awakening. It's deep. And it addresses every dimension of who I am. Fitness has got to become more than just physical fitness. We got to look at it in a holistic way because we're holistic human beings. We have so many dimensions, or what the yogis call koshas, that compose who we are. And yoga is a method or a science to address all those dimensions. From here, straighten that left knee, left leg. Turn the left foot in parallel to the right foot. And then on the inhale, reach both arms all the way up to the sky. Drop the left hand down, but keep the right arm high. Take an inhale, reach up to that right arm. 
And then begin to lean over towards the left, little side bend stretch. Good, back up to middle on the inhale. And then right arm down, left arm stays up. Take an inhale, get a little bit longer. And then exhale, begin to lean over towards the right. Beautiful, inhale, right arm up to come up, meet that left hand. Hands to prayer, position in front of the heart, flick the heels in, point the toes out. Bend the knees deep, squat down low, horse stance. Saddle up, the fun's about to begin. Take those arms, spread those out wide. Good, now drop the right hand down inside of the right foot, right leg, left arm to the sky. So here we are, difficult position, a difficult pose, and you basically have two options. Option number one is you meet it with reactivity. Option number two is you meet it with responsibility. So responsibility means the ability to respond from a place of inner steadiness, which creates a whole different set of karma, a whole different chain of events than the reactive option. The reactive option leads to suffering. The responsible chain of events leads to awakening and freedom. Good, inhale, come all the way back up to middle. Bring the arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, turn those palms inside out, and then squat low for five. Good, enjoy the discomfort for four. Good, you're smiling for three. Look at those pearly whites. Keep bending down deep for two. One last inhale there. Straighten those legs, kick those heels out. Arms spread out wide, T position. Woo, inhale, lean back, look up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive all the way down low. Crawl forward towards your front left foot, left leg, spin the left toes forward, pivot onto the back right toes, runner's lunge. And maybe you scoot that left foot a little over to the left just so you're not on a tight rope. And then lock the inner thighs, we call them the adductors towards each other. So you have containment in the pelvis, the hips, the sacrum, the lower back. And then when you're ready, go ahead and cruise the left arm all the way up to the sky like a meditation in motion. And by the way, there's no pose to get to because the pose that you need to get to is happening right now. You know, it's kind of like our, our life. We're always trying to jump to the next thing or we, we think we're gonna be happy and fulfilled when we get the next thing. But there's no greater illusion than that. So the name of the game is to be here now, to be present right here, right now, and to not need to get anywhere else or to have anything else to feel happy, which is what this program is all about. Regardless of what's going on outside of me, I control what's going on inside of me. Open up the left chest, extend the left arm forward and out, just a couple of breaths to pull a little bit long. So you're using your strength to create space, openness, freedom, and length. Good, now left arm up to the sky, here it comes. See if you can stand all the way back up to where the series began. Looking a little bit rickety looking a little bit wobbly, find your composure, find your poise. Take that back hand, set it on that right hamstring. Take that right arm and reach it to the sky. And then allow that pose to grow and amplify. Each breath, it grows a little bit more. But it's not a growth that you have to make happen. It's a growth that you have to surrender to and yield to and let happen. So you get out of the way of yourself and you allow your yoga to do you instead of you doing it. Now left arm up to meet the right, inhale, reach. Hands to the ground, exhale. Step the left foot back to plank, upper push-up position. Feet together, spin onto the outer blade of the left foot. Good, lean into that left hand. When you're ready, reach the right arm to the sky. Know that you always have the option to drop your left knee underneath your left hip. See how high you can lift that right hip up though, using your left side obliques, the abdominals there. Good, open up the right chest, 
extend that right arm forward and out. And when the heat is on, can the mind still remain tranquil and calm? Easy to stay calm when you're doing something gentle and sweet, but when it gets intense, can you still keep it? Good, now right arm up to the sky, inhale. Set it to the ground, exhale. Take an inhale there. Drop the left knee on the ground, lift the right leg up. Extend the left arm straight out in front of you, sunbird spinal balance. Take the left arm, extend it over towards the left side of the space. Take the right leg, bring it all the way around towards the right side of the space. And with your right ankle in alignment with your right hip, and with your left arm pulling out, with your right leg driving out with intent. Good, bring the right leg back behind you and bring the left arm forward in front of you. Start to bend the back right foot in, reach back with that left hand and grab what you can get and then begin to use the physics of counter resistance to peel open, come into a backward bend, to make sure that you're not collapsing in that right shoulder, but you're driving the earth away from you as you activate the tricep, the pectoral, and the deltoid. Take one last inhale, full expression, right leg back, left arm straight out in front of you. Take a good by inhale, pull it out, lift it up, Exhale, set it down, tabletop pose. Step back to plank pose, upper push-up position. As we now set up for five more yogi style push-ups. Inhale down, chaturanga. Exhale, press up. Inhale, drop. Exhale, press. Inhale down. Exhale, rise. Inhale, round four. Exhale, one more. Inhale, come down. Exhale, press up. Good, hold there, take an inhale plank. Drop the elbows to the ground, forearm plank position. Good, see if you can get your hands set. See if you can get your jaw and your face off. See if you can suck that breath down low. Good, now see if you can lift your right foot up a couple of inches off the ground. Keep driving down through your forearms. Now from here, bring your right knee to your right tricep and hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Right leg back, right toes on the mat. Lift the left foot up a couple of inches. Recommit, forearms driving down. Now left knee, left tricep. Hold there, five, four, three, two, one. Left leg back, left toes on the mat. Climb up onto the hands, upper push-up plank position. Take a good by inhale there. Lower down, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, how we doing everybody? Exhale, downward face and dog. Woo! I asked them how they're doing and some were smiling and some were looking at me with that evil stare. At least they're being honest. Good, from here, take an inhale, press back. And then exhale, walk or jump top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, forward fold, exhale, spread the feet, the width of the hips, and then hook your big toes, first two fingers. Flat back on the inhale, stretch the torso up and out. Forward fold, exhale, bend the elbow. Good, from here, release the big toes, bring the hands around behind the lower back, interlace the fingers, and then draw those arms towards straight. You know, one of the most famous areas that we collect tension and toxicity and stress is in that shoulder region. So just allow that stress, allow that tension to waterfall down towards the ground. You don't need it anymore. To have the courage to let it go, to get light, to get free. From here, one last inhale, deepen into that. And then exhale, release both hands down to the mat. From here, start to bend your knees so deep that your thighs are parallel to the ground. Rest the belly on top of your thighs and reach your arms behind you towards the back of the space until you kind of look like an Olympic skier about to go downhill. 
So the thighs are parallel to the ground, the torso is parallel to the ground, the neck stays long as you gaze straight down at your drishti, that focal point. Now from here, keeping the torso parallel to the ground, extend the arms straight out in front of you as we up the ante a little bit. And as you up the ante a little bit, you also have to up the ante of your breath a little bit. So the more challenging the pose, the more of that breath, the more of that fuel you want spilling in and out through the nose. Now check this out, keeping your knees bent exactly as is. See how high you can lift your chest, your upper body without straightening your knees, your legs, a micromillimeter. Good, the knees stay bent deep, the breath stays in that flow. Now from here, keeping those knees bent, come up onto the tips of the toes and elevate the heels off the ground. Good, let's pulse that. Take an inhale there, heels down, exhale. Four more, inhale on the toes, exhale, lower the heels. Good, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, two more. Inhale, little bit of balance, exhale, little bit of concentration. One more, inhale up and exhale, heels down. Good, now go ahead and stand all the way up, but come up onto the tips of the toes and lift those heels back off the ground. And how about we bring a little bit of strength into those calf muscles. Let's pulse this, take an inhale there, heels down, slow exhale. Good, four more, inhale on toes, exhale, heels low. Inhale, you got it for three, exhale, lower slowly. Inhale, back up for four, Exhale, lower down, one more. Inhale, come up, hold there, and see if you can reach even higher. Press even stronger into those feet. Take one last inhale, reach up, heels to the ground, left hand grabs the right wrist. Left hand, right wrist. Take an inhale, pull up, and then exhale, lean over towards the left side of the space. Oh, some poses are difficult. Some poses are so sweet, but it doesn't matter because inside of my mind, it still remains the same. Inhale, come back up, switch the grip, and then exhale, go ahead and lean to the other side. Breathe. Awesome, you guys. Inhale, come back, upward salute. Separate the hands about shoulder width apart. And then forward fold, exhale, drape the chest right on top of thighs. And then flat back, inhale, draw the spine out like a bungee cord to stretch. Step back to plank pose as we set up for a little arm balance flow. You're gonna pivot onto the outer edge of the right foot. You're gonna bring the left arm up to the sky, inhale and then reach it forward to the front, exhale. Back up to the sky, inhale. Left hand to the ground, exhale. Inhale down, chaturanga. Exhale, plank, come up, roll into the outer edge of the left foot. Inhale, right arm up. Extend the right arm forward and out, exhale. Inhale, back up. Exhale, plank pose. Chaturanga, inhale down. Plank pose, exhale, spin onto the outer right foot. Left arm up, inhale. Extend it forward, exhale. Back up, inhale. To the ground, exhale. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, plank, pivot onto the outer left foot. Right arm up, inhale. Extend it forward, exhale. Back up, inhale. Plank pose, exhale. Chaturanga, inhale. Plank pose, one more round. Roll onto the outer right foot. Left arm up, inhale. Extend it out, exhale. Inhale, back up, exhale to the mat. Chaturanga, inhale, push up, exhale. Roll onto the outer left foot, right arm up, inhale. Extend it forward, exhale. Back up, inhale, plank pose, exhale. Chaturanga, inhale, plank pose, exhale. Hold there, take a good by inhale. Now lower slow all the way down onto the belly. What the hell were those? Woo! Good, extend those arms straight out in front of you. I gotta try that myself sometime. Reach those arms behind you. 
Shalabhasana, lift the chest, lift the legs off the ground, just balancing on your lower belly. Good, you know, you strengthen the chest, you strengthen the shoulders. Why don't we take just a few moments here to strengthen the spine and the back, which often gets neglected. Bring the hands around behind the lower back, interlace the fingers, and then draw your knuckles towards the back. A lot of times when we think about a strong core, we just think about the front body. But the reality is, is that we also have to include the back body into the matrix of a strong core. From here, bend your feet in, reach back, grab the outer ankles with both hands, get a good solid grip. Make sure your knees don't open out further than your hips. Good, draw your shins back, lift your thighs, lift your chest. Good, we call it the full bow pose because you already did the half bow pose. So those shins draw back, the shoulder blades press into the back of the heart. And there's that chest, that heart, those collarbones spreading wide apart. The neck stays long, so the chin slightly down. It's not a neck bend, it's a backward bend. Take one last inhale, full bow. Shalabhasana, legs back, arms back, still lifted above the ground, breathing deep. Good, now let's summon that inner superhero by reaching those arms straight out in front of us for five. This is it, reach a little for four. Good, this is the climax for three. You've come so far for two. Take one last inhale, lift it up, give it all that you got. Exhale, set everything down, hands next to ribs. Good, last cobra of the class. Inhale, never felt so blissful and sweet. Exhale, downward facing dog, those are his story. Ooh, let's do a couple lion breaths. Inhale, deep through the nose. Stick out the tongue, let it out. One more time, inhale. And then lion's breath, exhale. Awesome, you guys. Take one last inhale, press the hips back. Relax the knees down onto the mat, crawl the knees forward, cross the feet behind you. Release down onto your sit bones. And then release all the way down onto your back, all the way into reclining. As you get onto the back, grab the shins, draw your knees, your thighs into the belly, give the lower back a little gentle rock side to side, as if the floor was your massage therapist. And that therapist was massaging into the tenderness of that lower back. I slide the hands down the legs, catch the outer edges of the feet, happy baby pose, lift the bottoms of the feet up to the sky. Spread your knees out just a little bit wider than your ribs. And then use your arms to draw the thighs down so you sink into the chambers of both hips. Good, now keep the right leg as is. Extend your left leg straight out in front of you along your yoga mat. And then from here, we're gonna take this right foot and we're gonna draw it over towards the left chest, left shoulder, so the right knee juts or flares out to the right. And then you can slip your arms underneath that right leg, kinda like you're about to do a bicep curl. I think Linda got a little famous in Level Up 108 for having killer biceps. So it's only appropriate that you demo this pose for everybody. <laughs> now, if you want, you can even lift the left leg off the ground a couple of inches. And because you are using your inner arms here, you can relax your neck and you can relax your face. So we want to know where to engage. And then we want to know where to soften. Wherever you're at, just give it one last little hug in. Slowly ease your way out, unthread those arms back to happy baby pose as you're ready. Give it a little rock side to side, rock that baby. Same thing on the other side as you're ready. Go ahead and extend your right leg straight out in front of you. Take the left foot over towards the right chest, right shoulder, slip and slide your arms underneath that left leg. 
Sometimes it's nice to even take the, the right arm around from the side, cradling the left foot and that inner right elbow. So whatever variation feels right for you. And then you're drawing your chest up in towards that inner calf and you're getting deep into that hip stretch, your hips, the largest joint in the body. And in addition to your shoulders, also the area where we collect so much tension and stress. This is why in every good yoga practice, we try and have at least one good thorough hip stretch towards the end of the class. Give that one last little squeeze in there. Slowly unthread those arms. Come to Apanasana, drawing both knees into the belly, into the chest. Nice, you guys, reclining butterfly, bring the feet onto the ground, bottoms of the feet connect, toes forward, knees open out. Place one hand on top of your belly, one hand on top of your heart. Close the eyes as we prepare for a little bit of yoga breathing together to officially wind this class down. So this particular breath pattern really helps to switch on that parasympathetic branch of our nervous system. The branch that helps us to relax, to restore and to renew. Take a deep inhale through the nose, fill the lungs up with breath to start. And then side out the mouth, exhale, let it go. And then we begin, inhale through the nose for one, two, three, Four, hold it in for one, two, three, four, out the nose, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause there for two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, two, one. One more round. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, two, one. Take a deep inhale through the nose, side out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Reach the hands forward to the outer knees, close the knees together, draw the thighs into the belly, Cactus the arms so the elbows bent about 90 degrees. And then allow your knees to twist over to the right. Feels like you want to place that right hand somewhere on that outer left knee, left thigh to help entice the twist. Feel free. And then both knees all the way back up to neutral on the inhale. Same thing to the other side on the exhale twist. In that movie Fight Club, Tyler Durden says, without pain, without sacrifice, we would have nothing. You get onto your yoga mat and you sacrifice doing things that maybe would be way easier than what you did. But then at the end of the day, you're left with nothing. You see, sometimes you have to give up a temporary pleasure for something of an infinite measure. And very often the things that are of an infinite measure are the things that are difficult and challenging and confronting. But instead of running away from it and moving through it, 
then you become something. And you become something where your self-confidence and your self-esteem begins to grow. Both knees all the way back up to neutral, draw the knees, the thighs into the belly. And then finally take a big inhale, curl the forehead up to the knees, give the body a last squeeze. And then exhale, shavasana, release, relax, all the way down onto your back. Congratulations, you guys, you made it. Before we officially end this class, see if you can take at least a couple of minutes here to drop into the heart and soul of all of yoga. For these last couple of minutes, like a heavy stone dropping all the way down to the bottom of a really still lake. See how deep you can go. Shavasana. Everybody from here, nice and easily. Nice and gradually, just start to bring the awareness back into the body. Come back into the body, just bringing with you whatever it is that you just dropped into. Officially, we're gonna say that this class is now done, but feel free to stay here as long as you like. So that's it for this one, you guys. Keep showing up, stay strong, stay empowered, and thank you for your practice. Remember you have your bonus core practice. The core is the, the area where our strength, our solar plexus resides. So when you do that hardcore practice, that'll just help to reemphasize that. Good job, I know it wasn't easy, but you did it, and we'll see you next time.